Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to warp text. As you can see here, I've gone ahead and taken some I've taken some standard text and I've made it nice and cool and warpy looking, and I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So let's get going. The first step, you want to go to file when you open Illustrator, go to file new. And let's work with an art and illustration uh, size artboard. It's 1296 by 1728 and create new. The size of this doesn't really matter if I'm being honest. So we've got a nice cool little white background here. The next step, I want to work in some bright colors so I'm going to click on the ellipse. Pardon me, I'm going to click on the rectangle tool. That's the better tool. Click on the rectangle tool in the toolbar. I'm going to hover on the top left and I'm going to create a rectangle that goes right around the whole thing. It does nothing but that's because the fill color is set to the background color. So I'm just going to double click on, or I'm just going to click on the fill one time and you'll see that we get the swatches panel and I'm going to select red. All right, cool. We've got a new background. Also keep in mind, I've got my toolbar here. If you can't see anything that I click on, feel free to go to window and then just make sure there's a check mark beside the uh, toolbar that if I use it and you don't see it, just click there and you'll be able to see it. So there we go. The next step is we're going to create some text now. So I'm going to go over to the left side and I'm going to switch to the, we're going to go to the text tool. And it's actually the type tool it's called. <laughs> and I'm going to left click on it once and I get the type tool. Now I'm just going to left click anywhere on the canvas. And you'll see here we've got a very, very small font to start. So I'm just going to type in Curtis, my name. Okay, or I'm just going to type in warp. Warp. All right, cool. And it is minuscule. So with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the corner. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to increase the size and it increases proportionally if you hold shift down. So I just want to make it nice and big. Okay, something like that. Cool. If you guys are following along, that shouldn't be too hard. I'll move it up a little bit somewhere around here so you can see what I'm doing. Perfect. Now, if you want to, you can change the font. For me, it defaults to Myriad Pro, and that is a very common, I think that's the what it defaults to in the 2021 version. But if you want to change it to something interesting like I don't know. I've got, uh, let's see, I like railway. Let's type in railway. I'm going to go with railway. Actually, you know what? Let's just stick, so let's stick with Myriad because anybody can follow along with Myriad. So I'm going to go to Myriad and I'm just going to select bold so it's nice and big, okay? Myriad bold, Myriad pro bold, pardon me. And off we go. Now, the next step is we want to start making some adjustments to it. But before we do that, you want to right click on it, make sure that you've selected everything right click and you want to create outlines this allows us to go in there and do some hammer and chisel work so now that we've created outlines now we're going to go up to object at the top we're going to go down all the way to where is it envelope distort and here's the one we're going to warp it but we're going to make it with a mesh so we're going to distort it with a mesh for this one so i'm going to left click on make with mesh and it's going to load up the envelope mesh option. Now you can go ahead and add as many rows as you'd like. If you want to just work on the outsides, you can go ahead with one row. If you want to have three rows and you want to work a little bit on the inside, that's fine too. And you can also change the number of columns. So I'm just going to go with three and three because I just want to show you the technique, not make anything super fancy. Left click on OK. Bang, we're on our way. Now, this is another important part. You'll see here we've got the selection tool selected. You want to move to the direct selection tool instead. You can click on that or you can press A. When you do that, when I hover over top of the mesh here, you're going to see that I can start making changes to it because you'll see, like I'm going to left click on this anchor point here and then I'm just going to drag it up. And automatically you can see I'm already starting to make some cool little warp effects. Maybe we'll click on the bottom here and we'll pull that down. Okay, cool. So we're going to warp the edges. I'm going to warp this one up like the last one. And then I'm going to warp this one down, kind of in a similar pattern. Okay, cool. This is how you can make warp effects. You can also go ahead and like add in like cool things like this. Maybe make the R a little smaller. Well, that's a little too small. You can zoom in so it's not quite as big a jump. Okay, we got a little R. We got a medium A. You can change the handles. Again, I'm just showing you the technique. What it ends up looking like is completely up to you, obviously. But anyways, we've got a nice cool warp effect. This might be enough for all you're looking to do, and you've got some nice organic warp to it. You can go a step further. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to click the selection tool, 
then I'm going to go down and you're going to see somewhere around here the free transform tool. You can press E for it. Actually, I should have said that. Left click on the free transform tool and now you can go ahead and start making some more changes. This will open up this little option here where you can do free distort, you can do perspective distorts, you can free transform and constraint. I'm going to go ahead and perspective distort this and I'm going to change this outside here. So I'm going to go ahead and wobble it a bit, so uh, a little bit like that. All right, cool, maybe I'll wobble this down a bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and select Free Distort, and I'm going to make some more changes. I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to move it up like this. Like, I mean, honestly, it's completely up to you. As you can see here, I'm just, I'm just sort of wobbling it the way I feel. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and start making all sorts of transformations. You can add it in. You can go, let's see here, you want to like, you want to maybe warp it up like that nah either way guys go ahead make some transforms make some changes this is how you warp text inside adobe illustrator thank you for watching i will be back soon with some more tutorials back soon.